them to the state Supreme Court in Lincoln. Good evening, I'm Kevin Bouton. The family of Sarah Root, who died after a suspected drunk driver crashed into her car in January, is furious with two men. The other driver in this case, Eswin Mejia, and the judge, Jeffrey Marcuso. The Root family says Marcuso set Mejia's bond too low, allowing him to bail out of jail for $5,000. And now Mejia hasn't shown up for subsequent court dates. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Shante Passmore spoke with Sarah Root's family today and joins us now with more. Shante? Kevin, traveling I-80 westbound, nearly 200 bikers escorted the Root family. Since Sarah's death, her parents have set on a journey to uncover why Mejia is nowhere to be found. Several blocks west of where Sarah died, Scott Root is revving up to find justice for his daughter. The local judicial system failed. The federal judicial system failed. I don't think so. Not good enough. Uh, we're not done. We're just getting started. The Root family is not alone. Outside Holstein's Harley Davidson, nearly 200 bikers joined them, heading to Lincoln to deliver a formal complaint. It's awesome. It's crazy. I've got goosebumps, that's for sure. The ride's not even for another half hour and it's already packed. Since Sarah's death, the family has collected thousands of signatures for a complaint against Judge Jeffrey Marcuso with the state Supreme Court, saying the $5,000 bail was much too low. However, a spokesperson for Nebraska Supreme Court tells KMTV judges set bail amounts based on evidence presented by the prosecutor. The Root family remains unmoved. So as a judge, that is your responsibility, and people can tell me, no, it's the prosecution's uh, responsibility, defense, whatever the case may be. No, you're the judge. You're setting that bond. In recent DUI cases in Douglas County, suspects have received high bonds, like Edwin Elver Palma at $2 million and David Huddy with $500,000. As those cases unfolded in the media, the Root family says they sat with mixed emotions. I am glad changes are being made. I'm glad there are certain things that are happening because of Sarah's case. No matter what happens in other cases, the Root family says there will always be a void in their lives. Bittersweet, my kid, no matter which way you slice it, my kid's dead. Now for this story, Judge Marcuso could not be reached for a comment. Tomorrow, the Root family will deliver their complaint to the state Supreme Court. KMTV Action 3 News will be there to cover this developing story. Live in the studio, Shante Passmore, KMTV Action 3 News.